Hi everyone, Dr. Melissa here, and today we are going over the three best exercises to help with neck hump for fast results. If you've noticed a little bit of a hump at the bottom of your neck, you're in front of your computer a lot of the time, or you're on your device, this is gonna be the perfect class for you. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out and I appreciate it. All right, go grab your mats and let's do this. All right, before we get into the exercises, what could be causing this hump in your neck? If you sit at a computer or you're scrolling away on your phones and you've got that prolonged posture with that forward head creep, over time what happens for our bodies to protect our spine, we start to develop this fatty deposit to help protect it. What you could do with your computer screen or your phones, just bring them up towards your head versus having that forward head creep. All right, now let's get into those exercises. If you happen to have two tennis balls, a lacrosse balls, if you've got a rolled up towel, a yoga mat, I'm gonna show you the first exercise. We're gonna start by placing the two balls together just at the top of our spine. And you're gonna take the towel roll, if that's rolled up, or the yoga mat and do the same exact thing. I'm just laying down onto your back on either side. Sometimes if you've got so much of a forward head, you might need a little bit of a pillow for a little extra support, but we're just gonna let our heads drop back and just take a gentle breath in, breathing out into the sides of our rib cage. Breathing can be really important for our posture as well, especially if you breathe into your chest and use these neck muscles. So take a nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. And this may be enough right here for you, feeling that pressure just above the top of the shoulder blades kind of opening up. If you want to add on a little bit, you can take those hands behind the back of your head. And then we're just going to gently peel ourselves, come up and then drop back over the ball, the roll, your mat. This is a great exercise doing for a minute just to get that mobility in our spine, kind of reversing the curve from that forward head creep. Just keep using that gentle breath, breathing out into the sides of your rib cage. Nice. Let's do two more here. Last one. And then bring it all the way back down. Now that might be enough just holding there, breathing, doing that, but if you want to add one more piece on, if you take both those arms, just kind of reach them up overhead and then bring those arms back down by your side. Hoop, there's my plant. <laughs> reach those arms up and then bring them back. Good. Keep breathing into the balls, gentle breath out to the sides of the rib cage. Nice. And then bring them back down. So a minute of each of those is great to really start working on the mobility in your spine. So let's push those off to the side. We're done with those. All right, the second exercise that we're gonna work on, this is really easy to do throughout the day if you're sitting at your desk. You can sit, you can stand, whatever is most comfortable for you. We wanna work on opening up through the chest. So you're gonna bring your arms out to the side, squeeze the shoulder blades, and think of creating this C curve with your spine as you gaze up. And then run around everything, bring it in, pull your chin to your chest. And then open up, look up towards the ceiling, and then round it back out. So what that looks like from the side. We're gonna, careful not to over arch from that low back. You're squeezing those shoulder blades and not just dropping the head straight back, but think of creating that big circle, kind of tucking that chin in a little, lengthen up, and then we'll round everything back down. If it feels good to hold in one position for a little bit, you can do that. If you wanna move a little quicker, you can do that as well, but we're getting a nice stretch in the front of the chest, kind of working on bringing the shoulder blades together and then working on bringing that head back. Nice. Let's do two more of these. Good. 
last one open come all the way back up good now for that third exercise we're gonna come all the way down onto our stomachs you're gonna bring your forearms straight out in front and think of pressing your forearms and your palms down into the ground. You wanna be careful not to feel any pinching in the low back, so really pull yourself forward, open up through the chest, and then take your chin without that dropping it way back, but kind of tuck your chin in a little bit. Open, broaden through those collarbones, pull yourself forward. Now from here, we'll pull our chin in towards our chest, press into your palms, round everything out and pull yourself come forward open through the front of your chest look straight ahead in that gentle tuck of your chin coming back but you're really opening through the front of your chest to pull yourself forward okay we're just going to gently move in and out of this so cat and cow variation on your stomach if this position was uncomfortable you could also come onto your hands and knees and do it that position as well round out and as you're moving, see if you can feel your spine moving segmentally. It might get a little sticky, especially in that area where the hump is, like it doesn't want to move. Continue to keep using your breath as you move in and out of these exercises. And pull those shoulder blades forward, backwards, <laughs> open through your chest, and then we're going to round out. Open, broaden those collarbones, pull yourself forward. We'll do one more after this. One more time, pull that chin in towards your chest, round through that mid back. Really pull yourself forward, open through the front of your chest, look straight ahead. And then let's come back to a seated position. So remembering consistency is key with these exercises. A minute each is perfect to do them throughout the day. And the breathing is also a really important component to make sure we're not using these neck muscles and getting tighter in that area. Let's take one more nice breath and lift those arms all the way up. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Consistency is key with these exercises to help with your neck hump. If you're wanting to learn more about how to improve your posture or how to have a healthy spine or just move better in general, learning about how you are using your core and your pelvic floor muscles is crucial. I'm going to put a link down below to my free pelvic floor and core challenge. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.